Hello students and welcome with commercial subjects. Introduction to Office Management, Chapter 3. Filing Methods and Systems, Filing Stationery and Filing Problems. By the end of this lesson, the student should be able to 1. List the types of file or folders used in filing. Number 2. Give examples of indexing files. 3. Solve problems that occurs in filing section. Number 4. State the tips of searching a file kept incorrectly. Let's start with an engaging or starter activity. As we can see here in the picture, what stationery do you think we need in filing documents? Yes, we need files. This is the most important dictionary that a stationery that we need for filing. Let's start with our first objective, which is filing stationery. We have many kinds of filing. We're going to focus on some of them. The first type is we have box file. From its name, box file. This file is like a box and it's best for documents that need to be stored for a short time. Let's say, for example, for two days, maximum one week or two weeks, we're going to keep them in this box file. What documents are we going to put in this file? Like purchase orders, checks, stores, requisitions. These are examples of documents that I'm going to keep in the box file. The other filing is clip file. From its name, it has a clip. As you can see here in the picture, it has a clip. This file holds the document without making a hole. Without making a hole in them. I will not punch it. What documents are we going to use for this file? Checks or photographs and contracts. Because these documents, the check, photograph, and contract, have special or have important information. So in case of a make a punch or make a hole in the paper, maybe I will lose a number or I will lose a letter. So that's why we put them in a clip file. The other type is hanging file. From its name, the files will be hanged or known as file covers. It's used to keep folders in vertical and horizontal filing system. It stays on rail. So it's like a rail. I can move it that side or this side. The other type is computer report files. This kind of file has a binder. It can be open to add or remove computer printouts. This is the binder. I can open it. I can add papers and remove papers as I want. You can answer question 11, page 63 in the workbook. Okay, let's move on to our second objective, which is indexing. What do I mean by indexing? Indexing is a method of keeping small amounts, small amounts of important information about the people who deal with us regularly. Okay, it's like a small, I keep a five books where I put like just small paper about the information of the people that I deal with them regularly. Let's see the types that we have of indexing. First, we have card index. Card index, it's a small box. The cards stand upright in the box and arranged alphabetically according to the customer's name. If I have a customer, his name is Ahmed, he will be the first one since he starts with the letter A. If I have customer name Muhammad, he will be after in his place. So it's going to be arranged from A to Z. The second type is page index. Page index is like a book or as you can see here, a notebook. It's a notebook divided according to the alphabet like the telephone directory. It's a notebook from A to Z. I write the information of the person behind his letter. The last type is rotary index. As you can see here in the picture, rotary means we can move the papers. 
It's like similar to the card index, but what's the difference here? The cards can be removed and kept back. The difference between the card and the rotary is that the card here in the rotary, I can remove it and put it back after writing the needed information. You can go to question 12, page 64 in the workbook. Let's move on to the third and la uh, third objective, which is filing problems and solutions. While filing, we face some problems. Let's see these problems. I have too many filing places. In my organization, many filing places, which will get me confused. How shall I solve this problem? I have to centralize the files. Centralization, or so that we have, we have taken before, the centralized and the departmental. Here, we need to centralize the files where I keep all the files in one place. The second problem is, the system does not fit the way the materials called for. The way that I'm making my files, organizing them, is not fitting how my work is done. So I have to use the alphabet, alphabetical or the subject or numerical or geographical, depending on what fits my way. The third problem is missing files are hard to find. If I lost any file, it's very difficult for me to find it. What is the solution? Keep track of removed files without guides or make checkout system. Let's say, for example, since you are the person who is in charge for the filing department, any employee come to, to you to take a file, you must keep track which file he take it, from which department, his name, at what date, and you give him minimum time to return it, let's say after two days or one day. So you keep track about all the files that have moved from your place. Answer question 13, page 65 in the workbook. Let's move to the last objective, which talks about misfile search tips. Let's say, for example, that you have lost your file. What are you going to do? When a file is kept incorrectly or in the wrong place, try the following tips to find it. We have many ways we have, could follow to find a misfile. First of all, look in the folder in front or behind the correct file. If this folder was here, look in front or behind its place. Maybe by mistake, you put it in another place. Or look between the folders, even between the folders, search between the folders. Maybe you put it in another place. Number three, look under the folders, especially when using hanging filing system because the hanging filing system, the files will be hanged, so maybe it's filled down. So look under them. Number four, check for misfiling because of misreading of letters. For example, the letter is B, but you read it P by mistake. So search in the other letter. Check alternate spelling. For example, account. Some department, some organization, they call account, and some of them call them finance department. So check, maybe it's in the accounting department file or in the finance, so check in internet spelling. Look in the year before or after the one in the question. If in the question was written 2018, look in 2017 or look in 2019. Look at the related subject if using subjects filing. From this under, let's say, for example, the account filing, look under the account filing. Maybe you put it inside. The last one, be aware that the records may be in the storage, or maybe it's a dead file, because we don't need it anymore. So instead of wasting your time, go and in the storage and check it. Maybe it's there because we don't need it anymore. I have a question. List four methods in attempt to find a misfile. From the previous steps that we have said, list four methods. 
Let's move on to the questions. Question one. The notebook, which is divided according to alphabets, like Bahrain Telephone Directory, is called A. Card Index B. Page Index C. Rotary Index or D. Follow-up Index The answer is B. Page Index Question 2 It is a small box or cabinet drawer. The cards stand upright in the box and they are usually arranged alphabetically according to the customer's name. Small plastic tabs show the alphabets. A. Card index. B. Page index. C. Rotary index. Or D. Follow-up index. The answer is A. Card index. Question 3. All of the following are examples of indexes methods except a card index b page index c rotary index or d books file the answer is d books file the last question files that hold documents without punching a hole in them and it's good for documents like checks contracts photographs is called a Books files, B. Hanging files, C. Clip files, or D. Computer report files. The answer is C. Clip file. For more activities, please refer to the workbook from pages 63 till 65. Thank you for listening and wish you all the best.